Hey guys, Scott here. In this tutorial, we're going to learn how to install Joomla 1.5 using Fantastico through cPanel. So here's the Joomla installation tutorial. Now, if you don't have cPanel or this, in, this way of installing doesn't work, you can install Joomla manually. Just click this link here to go to that tutorial. So the first thing you need to do is log into cPanel. You can do this by typing in your site followed by cPanel, like so yoursite.com forward slash cPanel. So now once you're in cPanel, you want to log into Fantastico. So now just scroll down until you see the services and little software and services section. From here, select Fantastico. Now we want to scroll down until on the left side here, until we see the content management. And from here, you want to select Joomla 1.5. So just click that. And now in this section here, we want to click new installation. So this is the blue link that says new installation. So just select that. And now we'll need to enter some basic details about the installation you want Fantastico to do. Now, if you run multiple domains from this one hosting account, you'll be able to select the domain you want to install Joomla to from here. Now I've only got one website on this account and most of you will, so you won't need to worry about that. It'll just have the right one selected already. Now the directory you want to install it to, it, usually with Joomla, it's a content site being installed to a website as is. You don't, it's not usually made as an extension to a website. So you'd leave this blank so that it's installed into your site.com. But if you do want to install it to your site.com forward slash Joomla or forward slash whatever, just type it in here. So if I put Joomla, it would install it into my site.com forward slash Joomla. But I just want to leave that blank so that it goes to my site.com. And now you want to put in the login details for an admin account. You can put in whatever you want here. Any username will do. I'm just going to type in admin. Now for the password, I'm just going to put password for now because I'm going to be deleting this installation anyway, but put in a strong password because you don't want people getting into your Joomla account. So use something that's reasonably strong. Now the base configuration, this is, you don't need to worry too much about this information because you can change it later, but just put in an email account that you use or that you have access to. And then you can put in your full name if you want to, but you don't have to, you can leave that blank. Now for the site name, I don't like leaving the site name as just the .com part. I like actually putting the name of the site. Like for mine, I'd put learn website basics that's separated and capitalized, or the first letter of each one is. Um, with the sample data, if this is the first time you've used Joomla, leave this selected. This will put sample data on so that you can see how the data looks on both the front end and on the back end for the administrator section. So you can see how it's actually, it gives you a basic idea of how Joomla works. So leave that selected if you've never used Joomla before. Now you want to click install Joomla. And now it'll tell you that the MySQL database and MySQL user of that, whatever yours says there is once created, or it says it will be created for this installation. So it creates some MySQL databases for you and also links the users, does everything in the background automatically. Um, just read over this to make sure it's all right, which usually it is. Um, it just says how I've chosen to store it straight to my domain or to this domain and straight into mysite.com forward slash nothing after it. So it's just straight to my site. So now I'm just going to click finish installation. And now this will install Joomla to my website. So it's basically saying it's done. So now if you want the details of the installation sent to you, just put in an email address here and click send email. But that's finished, so now I'm just going to check my site to see if it worked. So just type in your site to wherever you installed Joomla to. So mine was just to mysite.com. So now let's see what that does. And that loads Joomla. And you'll see there's a lot of sample data. Now the sample, all the sample data, see on the front page it shows you like there's sample data here in different sections, there's the menus, it's all the sample data. 
So you can see what it looks like on the front here. And then when you log into the admin side of it, you can see how it looks like on the admin side because it is different. So to log in to the admin side of Joomla, all you do now is you'd have your site.com followed by forward slash administrator. Now that'll load up the administrator login and all you do here is put in the username and password you used. Mine, if you remember, I did admin and the password I just left is password. And then just click login. So that's how easy it is to install Joomla and log into the administrator side. From here, you, it might look complicated now, but it's actually really easy to use. And I've got a lot of tutorials on my site that show you exactly how to use everything in Joomla. And that's your Joomla site installed. You can log out just here. So select log out and it'll send you back to your front page or the Joomla admin login. And that's all there is to it. If this installation doesn't work for you, because you don't have Fantastico or you don't have Cpedal for any reason, just go back to my site and select the how to install Joomla manually. They, this will work for pretty much every single website that can actually install Joomla, which is pretty much most of them. And if your host doesn't actually allow you to use Joomla, then you're with the wrong web hosting company you should change.